Today, we want to take a moment to talk about the cost of freedom. Yesterday in Canada was a day called Remembrance Day. Remembrance Day is actually a memorial day that's observed by almost every Commonwealth country right now. And what Remembrance Day is, it's, it's, it's a day where we take time to pause in the middle of the day and to reflect and remember the cost that it is for us to have the freedom. We remember the soldiers who died in World War I or World War II or all the different wars that have taken place throughout our history where people have fought to protect the freedoms that we in Canada get to enjoy. We also take time to think of those who have lived or worked in the army and the amazing sacrifices. And, and what it did is it really made me just think this past Remembrance Day about this idea of that freedom is so valuable. Real reality is we live in a free country in Canada and, and I'm not afraid to get on the internet and talk about Jesus. I'm not afraid to go to a polling station and vote for who I think would be the best representative for us as, as a nation. I'm not afraid to share my faith with my neighbors and my friends. I, I'm, I have the ability to serve my family in the way that I best feels to serve my family. And it's a beautiful thing that we have. But the reality is what really hit me yesterday in this thought process of freedom is the reality that freedom doesn't come easily. We all want freedom, right? And, and I'm going to parallel right now. We, we, we've talked about freedom as a nation, but no matter what I'm talking, there's also freedom spiritually. You and I, we all want freedom, right? We all want to be in a spot where I'm not struggling with that addiction. I'm not struggling with that insecurity. I'm not struggling with that mindset. That's a bad mindset. I, I'm not struggling with debt. Come on, somebody, right? right? It's the idea that I actually am looking for freedom. So many of us want it. But what I'm learning today, coming off of yesterday, is that freedom isn't free. Reality is, is that soldiers gave their lives. They went overseas, they fought in battles, and they died so I can have the physical freedoms that I have in Canada today. The truth is I'm friends with, with a person who's in the, in the military and, and, and just to see the impact that has had on his life and his family and, and the ability of where he has to move and he has to be at different places and multiple times throughout my friendship with him, he's been overseas for six months, a year, serving and, and bringing disruption to his own family at the, at the goal of providing safety for us. It came at a cost. I think of our firefighters and our police officers who who do so much for us at their own personal sacrifice, do so much to make sure that you and I have safety and freedom, right? We benefit from what so many others have laid down their lives or, or had taken on huge inconveniences so that we can walk in freedom. But the truth is that we want freedom from addiction, freedom from mindsets, freedom from sin, freedom from debt. The reality is, is that Jesus Christ also died for our freedom. The Bible actually says in Galatians 5.1 that it's for freedom that Christ has set us free, that, that Christ came to this world to do two things, to, to restore our relationship unto him and to provide grace and mercy and forgiveness for our sins. And so here's the beauty, that through our relationship with Christ, through our walk with God, because of what God did, we are actually able to receive freedom. But it doesn't come lightly. The freedom that I can have in my personal walk with God, the freedom that I can have to, to know that, that my past sins don't dictate who I am, actually came at the cost that God sent his only son to die on that cross. And it actually came at a huge cost. But here's the beautiful thing, is Christ paid that price. And so what I want you to hear today, if you are struggling with something in your life, if you feel you're a slave to something, if you feel like you're an addict to something, if you feel there's a mindset or a sin that has wrong placing in your life, then what you need to know is you don't need to live under that rule any longer. You have been set free from Christ Jesus and he paid the price so that you can walk in freedom. 
Choosing not to walk in freedom from sin and choosing not to walk in freedom from all these addictions is like me waking up every day and choosing to live under a regime. Even though I have freedom here in my nation, it would be like me choosing to, to follow the rules and laws of a communist party. I don't have to follow that because I'm in freedom. And you don't have to follow the lies of the enemy and the control of the enemy and a wrong master because you can have freedom because Christ paid for that price. The other thing that stands out to me about freedom is in order for us to receive freedom, we need to learn to surrender to God. I, I've learned even here in our natural lives that in order for me to embrace the freedom that I have as a nation, I also have to learn to submit to the authority of the, of the nation. That it's not just anarchy. Anarchy isn't actually freedom. Anarchy is actually so dangerous and so scary. What I actually do is for me to walk in my freedom, I actually submit to the authority. I submit to the, well, I kind of submit to the speed limits, right? I, I submit to the laws of the land, right? I, I submit to what the government is asking us to do, right? I submit because I understand that submission to them actually allows us to protect and serve our nation as a whole. The army submits to the orders of their their generals, right? The police officers submit to the orders of their chiefs. The, the fire department submits, right? They submit to their orders so that, that they can do the best possible they can. And what I've learned in my life is that although Christ has died to give us freedom, I have to choose to submit to him. And go, God, yeah, inside my life right now, I want nothing more than to do this. But I know that's not your desire for my life. I know that you died to give me freedom. So God, I choose to submit to your ways. <laughs> your ways are not my ways. Your ways don't maybe make sense to me in the natural. Your ways don't, don't line up in what my flesh really wants. But I choose to submit to your ways because I recognize that your ways produce life. And as the Bible says in John 10, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and life to the fullest. So if you're watching today and you're stuck in some kind of a slavery, you're stuck in some kind of addiction, you're stuck in some kind of sin, I want to remind you that Christ died for you. And you don't have to be stuck anymore. And the best way to walk to freedom is to choose to lay down your life, your will, your mindset, and surrender it to Jesus Christ. I hope you have an awesome day today, and God bless.